Have you ever gotten a shoplifting charge and gotten a notice to appear in court? What do you do next? Hi, I'm Billy Yamansky, the lawman. Today we're going to talk about the three things you need to do if you get a notice to appear for shoplifting and have to appear in court. Now, as you know, shoplifting is a serious offense. It can affect career opportunities, scholastic opportunities, and if you're single, even dating opportunities because if people are looking for you online, they're certainly going to look up your criminal history. Wouldn't want that, would we? So what are the three things we can do if we get charged with shoplifting? One, look up a diversion program in whatever county you got caught. Many counties have a first offender program. If you've never been in trouble before, that's good news. You complete the program, charge gets dropped, expunged, put in the mirror behind you. Program's a little bit involved. You may have to do some classes, community service, and pay a fine, but it sure is worth it. Second thing that you can do is sign up for the impulse control class. Now, I know what you're saying. Well, isn't that proof I'm guilty? Well, listen, if they got you on tape and they can prove the charge, you know, it may not be a good idea to go to trial and fight it. By signing up for that class, it's not an admission of guilt, but it does show the prosecutor and the judge that you're serious about putting this charge behind you. Very, very important. Sign up for that impulse control class. And that third thing I would suggest that you do, and the most important thing is hire a quality, experienced lawyer. Why? Well, they certainly can get you out of that first court date, and sometimes they can get you out of all your court dates so you don't even have to go to court. What does that mean? You don't have to take off school or work. If they get you into a program, you may never even see the inside of a courtroom at all. The other thing is, is that lawyer is representing you, and that lawyer is going to be the one that's talking to the prosecutor and making that ask. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, Miss Prosecutor, can my client do diversion? It's important who you hire. Don't ever underestimate that fact. To recap, research the diversion program in the county that you were charged in to see if you're eligible. Two, sign up for that impulse control class. And three, hire a quality lawyer. Thank you for listening. I hope I've answered a lot of your questions about shoplifting. If you have any other questions, please contact Bill Umansky, me, the lawman, at 407 228-3838. The lawman's out.